One of the things that keeps us from feeling in control is fear. Fear of what might happen, fear of what is happening, or even the memory of fear of what has happened. Imagine what your life and your career could look like if you could learn how to delay these fears, control them, or even master them. Here's a simple exercise for mastery under pressure that can show you how. And today we're going to be talking about fear. Ooh, fear. Everybody sort of runs away from it naturally. It's a natural thing to do. We want to avoid things that we're afraid of. Well, that's a really pretty good solution for things that are terribly scary and that we should be afraid of. But as you know, there are many, many, many fears that run us without us even realizing it. So we're going to look a little bit about fear. Let's imagine that you know that public speaking or making presentations is a really good thing for your business. And we also know that public speaking is one of those top on the list of people's greatest fears. But let's again imagine that you take a moment and you sit and you allow yourself to think about it a little bit. And you ask yourself with that non-judgmental questioning that we were talking about yesterday with mindfulness, and you ask yourself, what's really so scary? What am I really, really afraid of? Well, different people are afraid of different things. And so if we stop and take a look, let's see, maybe are you afraid that people are going to laugh at you? Or maybe you're afraid that you're going to go blank and you're not going to remember what to say. Or maybe you're afraid that you don't know enough and if people ask you questions that you're not going to know the answers. Well, the truth is that each one of those three scenarios has three different solutions. And so when we pull them apart and, and pull out the threads, we can be better problem solvers. So the first one, maybe I'm afraid people are gonna laugh at me. We can stop and think about that. Is that really true? Do I laugh at people when, even when they're stumbling and, and speaking publicly? No, I don't think so. Actually, what's gonna come up for me in general, probably pretty much is compassion. So that requires a different kind of thinking, if that's my greatest fear. Or let's say that uh, I'm afraid I'm going to forget. I'm going to forget what I'm, what I'm saying and I'm going to go blank. There are skills to be learned. One of the things that I teach in my program, it's called Mastery Under Pressure, is how to be able to perform your absolute best when there's a part of us that wants to close off and shut down. So there are skills to be learned if that's your fear. And there are other solutions to different ways. You're afraid perhaps that you don't know enough about your subject. Well, perhaps, again, you need to study more. You need to gain more information. And you need to learn how to trust yourself that you do know more than you think you do. But my point, as you can see, is that as we take fear and we separate the different pieces, we then put ourselves in a position to be able to go into action with a very specific solution. So I'm going to leave you with two of my greatest and famous and most favorite comments about fear. And the first one is that fear is the only thing that gets smaller as you get closer which is just kind of what we talked about. And lastly, the only way fast, past the fear is through it. You could talk about it, you could imagine it, but until you do something and get through to the other side, the fear is gonna hold you. If you'd like to know more about the Mastery Under Pressure program and what it can do for you, download our free corporate preview sample, or just reach out to me at Tina at masteryunderpressure.com and start making your best better.